Um, so I got this question, um, what's my process for coming up with uh, great new ideas? Because I keep coming up with great new ideas, which I, I do. I come up with a lot of ideas and some of them are great, but you know, there, there's a lot of ideas and I, I throw a lot of them away before they ever see the light of day or are shown to other people. So my hit rate isn't quite as good as people imagine, but my hit rate of what I actually share with the world <laughs> looks better than, than what's going on beneath the surface. But in terms of creative process, you know, really there's one key to doing this that's more important than anything else. And it's really powerful. And it's also really, really hard for a lot of entrepreneurs. And that is a lot of people, just it's, it's countered the way a lot of us are wired. And that is sitting with ambiguity, right? I'm trying to puzzle something out and I haven't figured it out yet. And just sitting with it, letting it sit in the back of my mind, not needing to rush to an answer, not needing to put it out of my head because ambiguity is so uncomfortable. There's this fantastic book all about this by Jamie Holmes. It's called Nonsense, which one of the books I suggest every entrepreneur read, even though it has nothing to do with entrepreneurship or business. But sitting with ambiguity is the first step towards figuring out hard problems. And most people are completely unwilling to do that. They either want to rush to an answer or they want to run away from the question or they want to hand it all off to someone else. So a coach or a course or an advisor or a webinar or a blog post can just tell them what to do and they don't have to sit with it themselves. The most important thing that you can do is just actively sit with, grapple with, play with the ambiguity of I'm trying to figure this out and I don't know what the answer is and what are all the different ways I can turn it over and look at it and examine it and think about it and what are the different approaches. Um, it makes all the difference. Mm -hmm.